Hey everyone, in today's video I'm going to show you how to use macros in Jinja templates. So macros are basically like functions for the templates. So in a typical programming language you, you would use a function to have a block of code that you want to reuse over and over again and you wouldn't have to rewrite the same code over and over again. So a macro accomplishes the same thing in Jinja. So I'll be using Flask to render the templates, but the Flask code here is going to be very basic. I won't have to make many changes to this. I'll add some data in this view function, but uh, that's about it. So I have this index file with nothing in it, and then I have this underscore macros file also with nothing in it. So the first thing I want to do is I'm going to put all my macros in this file just to make it a little easier. Um, because they're like functions, I want to separate them out from the actual template. But of course, the macros can have uh, HTML in them. So the very first thing I need to do is import this macros file. It doesn't have anything in it yet, but it will once I start writing code. So uh, just like any other Jinja block, it starts with uh, bracket percent. And I'm going to do from and then the name of the file, so underscore macros.html, um, import, and then I will import the function name. So I'm gonna, or the macro name, I'm going to leave that blank for a second. And here in the macros file, I'm going to create a very simple macro called hello. So once again, I use the, the bracket percent and I'll put the macro keyword and then the name. So the name is going to be hello. And it's just like a function, so it has parentheses. It won't take any arguments. Well, actually, let's give it an argument. So let's say name. And then at the end, it needs the end macro command. So in between the two, I can then write the code that is in this macro, hello. So I'll just put a header and then I'll need to use the uh, parameter pass, the name, and then I'll close out the header tag. So this name needs to be called inside of the, um, I need to activate the, or tell the template engine that this is a variable and it needs to be put into the HTML. So I use the two brackets here uh, to direct the template engine to do that. So I'll save that and I'll import hello from here. And then I'll just put uh, the same type of bracket, so double brackets, and then hello, and the name will be Anthony. And then I'll save it and run it. So let me start the server and then view the page. So we see here Anthony is the name because Anthony is in this macro hello. So if I were to pass a name here, let's say name equals Yesenia. And then I take that name that was passed into the template and instead of Anthony, I put just name and refresh, I get Yesenia instead. So very simple stuff. Um, that's showing you exactly how the name Yesenia gets transferred from here in the Flask code. It gets sent to the template, which then gets sent to the macro, and it renders. So let's try something else. Let me create a list of things. Um, let's say uh, my list, and I'll just put numbers. So let's do 293. 374, uh, 943, 518, and 102. So I'll pass that, and I'll pass that to a parameter called numbers. So my list. So now I need to create another macro. And I'll call this display numbers, and it will take in some numbers. And I'm just going to uh, create an unword list. So in macro.
and it's going to loop through. So I should have a for loop here. For num in numbers. And then let me in the for loop down there. And I can probably indent this a little bit to make it more clear. So for each number in numbers, I'm going to display them. So I'll create this uh, list. These should actually go outside. They only appear once. And inside the list, I'll use the li tags. So li, li, and in the middle goes the num. And that is it. So I just need to import display numbers. So I'll have another call just like that, just like the one for hello. So display numbers. And then display numbers. Now pass it the, what did I call the name? Numbers. So numbers, just like that. Now if I save that and refresh, I should see the numbers in a list. And there we have the list of numbers. So if I wanted to reuse this code for something, let's call this more numbers. And I just add in some random numbers in here. call this more numbers I'll just use the same name and let's say I put a I believe a horizontal break would be HR I don't know we'll see but really the thing I want to display is more numbers so I get to reuse this macro and reuse all this code in here even though um, I'm using it for a different set of numbers so let me save that and run it so the line did work and I have this list of numbers and if I wanted to do this one more time I'll just put a couple in here and I'll call this the same thing another line break and then display numbers even more numbers save that and refresh the page and then I get these numbers down here so if you have any code that you have to repeat over and over again uh, any valid Jinja template code can be put into a macro so like I said it's basically just like a function um, it's Nice to have it in a separate file so you can just import it so you don't clutter your uh, main template with the macros. But anything you want to do in these macros, so if statements, filters, for loops, whatever you want, uh, you can put them inside of the macro and you can uh, reuse that code over and over again, just like in this example. So that's it for macros. I think it's a pretty simple concept. If you have any questions about macros in Jinja, just leave a message or a comment down below and I'll uh, answer whatever questions you may have. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. And if you like my channel and my videos, please subscribe to my channel. So thanks for watching this video. I will talk to you in the next video. Thanks again.